Good morning, everyone. We are coming into Thanksgiving week here in America. Yeah. It's a week that we give thanks for the things Happy that we have in this everyone. world, our families. I'm thankful and so for my family. I give family. thanks for my family. I give thanks for the life that we have. Amen. And I'm giving a lot of thanks for this house that we're building in the Philippines. It's going to be a huge Thank blessing. Thank you, Lord. And we're looking forward to it. Uh, this is episode two of the Build series. <laughs> and we are so excited to show you some of the action that's going on in the Philippines. Uh, really like to shout out my sister. Yeah, who thank is you, Beth. Watching Beth. over it, taking care of it. Thank you so much. And thank you for all and, our uh, friends that we're helped excited to see. the house build. Oh, yes. Our Kuya workers. And our workers. Mm. Very nice. We yeah. have good and guys, don't forget that we are almost to 5,000 subscribers and we're going to do a Balak Bayon box. Yeah, we want to bless somebody box in giveaway the to someone in the Philippines, Help one of us. our subscribers. So yes. uh, stay tuned, stay subscribed, and uh, you too could win a Balak Bayan box from the U.S. of hey. So we appreciate you guys. Have a good time. Thanks. So, volume two of the Behold My Akabak Home Build. Thank you for joining us. This is uh, where things started to finally go up instead of down. <laughs> we uh, had to get over a thousand pieces of cocoa lumber just to build the scaffolding for this project. Uh, it's kind of cantilevered on the edge of a mountain, so... You know, you've got a lot of scaffolding that's got to get built in order to uh, effectively build on the job site. The uh, first order of business is to start the uh, second floor, which is kind of the ground floor where you come in from the parking um, to get the beams ready for that floor. So that's what they're going to start first. And then uh, you try to get those beams poured and then at the same time, they're still continually working on the basement, which we'll show you here in a little bit. And uh, after they get things going down here, they start the uh, hollow block walls on the first floor. But uh, we'll show you that in the next episode. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoy this episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot going on. It's, uh, it's just been steady uh, progress as we work to try to get the home uh, completed. So here we are looking down on the apartment that we created in the basement area. As you can see, a lot of excavation was done and uh, we've got that thing uh, starting to hollow block and uh, looking like a basement. We'll show you that in just a minute. And uh, we're trying to go with these beams go up. So we've got a lot of work done on these beams. They built a million of those little metal rings and rebar. And like I said, we uh, always have the uh, engineer preview everything prior to pour just to make sure everything is uh, correct and uh, everything gets uh, poured uh, according to the engineer's uh, design. So we're getting everything supported and ready to pour. We have to support the load of all that concrete and uh, create like channels basically uh, with wood to pour the uh, beams into. So that's what is going on here. And uh, we'll fast forward and show you what it looks like once they're completed in just a second. So you can see the uh, how much concrete goes into these beams. But... Uh, a lot of pre preparatory work goes in as well and uh, you know with the miracle of uh, photography we can just skip right to the finished product so here's what it looks like after the pours you can see forms were built all around them they were poured and then uh, we've already started on the roof beams and of course there will be uh, quite a bit of roof beams and purlins that are used to uh, support the roof and uh, We've got a lot of metal for that now at this point. So that'll start after uh, we get kind of things moving along here with the uh, 
beam work, getting these uh, forms off, and then uh, the, the roof will be tied in with this uh, these beams. But uh, just an amazing amount of work went into it. They did it all in one day, of course, and just a lot of work. Um, what's so amazing is they're way up in the air, too, on top of that. I don't know. It would give me... Uh, the heebie-jeebies I think to be that high up off the ground <laughs> working but they do it and they get it done and uh, just amazing how uh, effective these guys are getting things accomplished and we're seeing progress every day which is exciting and we continue to you know have kind of the light at the end of the tunnel although we still have a lot of work to do at this point. Obviously, the main reason we fell in love with this site so much are just the views, the dramatic views down towards uh, the Peng Lao shores, of course. Uh, as you look ahead, you can see Pamelican Island off to the, well, right there straight ahead. So uh, that's where you can do dolphin watching and whale watching, things like that. So. Great area. Obviously, if you've never been to Bohol, it's a beautiful, beautiful island. Uh, you have the Lubok River Cruise, the Bohol Chocolate Hills. There's so many things to do in Bohol, both in ecotourism, shopping, restaurants. It's, it's really got it all. So it's a great, great place, especially for, you know, your expats like me who uh, want to be able to have access to those amenities that you're used to in America, like McDonald's and a movie theater and things like that, that make life a little less, uh, you know, difficult to cope with is the culture shock, I guess. So here's the basement. Um, we've got a lot done. We put in a ceiling already in here and uh, obviously the walls are up, it's rendered um, and it's even got a couple of coats of the uh, skim coat on it. So it is moving along really well. Now this area we can't work on because we have to wait for the roof. And the roof is taking a little while just because we ordered a uh, roof with a built-in foam uh, insulation. Which is not commonly used in the Philippines and costs a little extra and it takes a little longer to get. But... Uh, lot less risk of uh, condensation and we'll show you that as we get to that point we're just not there uh, yet but uh, once we get the roof up then we can finish the rest of the basement but it's coming along really really well another quick shot at the basement we decided to lay a couple rows of tiles so that we could go ahead and start working on some of the built-in cabinet work that's going to get done in here um, just to get a jump on it because uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of cabinetry put in. We engaged uh, a local cabinet guy to just build all this stuff here in the basement, get it going. As you can see, we uh, decided to use the 60 by 120 large format tiles in a straight lay pattern. Very uh, simple, minimalistic, and clean. Should um, make a great uh, flooring for the home. And uh, we're still working on rendering in the basement. So lots going on. Uh, thank you for, you know, just sticking around and watching our uh, update on the construction. It's a wonderful project. It's something that we're very passionate about. And appreciate you taking the time to just uh, sh sharing our excitement. And uh, we uh, look forward to bringing you an update again uh, here soon. We appreciate you. And thanks for watching. Bye.